Now, what you're about to see is going to leave you shaking your head. Ben decided to do an experiment with a bulletproof vest that just left his parents mortified. Now, obviously, do not try this at home. Benjamin went to the police academy. We were really excited for him going. Police academy was the best schooling I ever had. So they forked out a lot of money for me to, to go to the police academy. When he finished the, the police academy, he, he had this desire to find out what it felt like to be shot. Five rounds, five rounds, and a bullet. Nine millimeter. Get out there. So he put his bulletproof vest on. It looked like from the video, they'd been drinking quite a bit. I let, no, I don't, I don't love you, Mom. Ready? And let his best friend shoot him. I didn't know that the bullet was going to go through the bulletproof vest. Did it go through or not? He was bleeding from the chest. It was a dumb, dumb, dumb stunt. I just thought, how stupid. You're not thinking, son. God might as well take him, because <laughs> he's worthless right now. That's not nice, but it's so true. OK. Now. The bullet went through the vest. We saw it bleeding. At least your friend there, who I guess is going to be on my short list of idiots, at least he chose to test this out by shooting you in the heart. We had tested out the backside of the vest on a, on a drywall hung up on a tree and uh, shot several different rounds through the backside of the vest. That way the front side would not get penetrated or not get tarnished. So. We shot it with 22 9 millimeter, 30 out six, and 12 gauge shotgun uh, bird shot. Well, the shotgun and the 30 out six um, went straight through the vest, straight through the drywall, and I'm like, screw that, I'm out. Um, the 22 and the 9 millimeter stayed in the vest and uh, indented the drywall, didn't break the drywall, didn't shatter the drywall at all. So that's why it opted for that to happen. Well, well very responsible of you. Now, yeah. you. <laughs> This went an inch and a half into your chest. Yes, sir. Now, I got a, a whole audience full of military guys over here. They're just shaking their heads. I mean, they do this for real. You're out there shooting yourself on purpose. It, was that dumb? It was very dumb. It was the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. And when you sat down here, when you came in and sat down in the chair at the top of the show, you sat down, and you went like this. Does it still hurt? Oh, it doesn't hurt. It's, it, it, my heart's pounding from being on your show. <laughs> you, you're thinking it might come out through the hole? No, no, it, 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 it's healed up, so. Why would you have someone shoot you when they've been drinking? Well, um, I've been around my best friend for a while. Um, I've seen him shoot. I've seen him shoot whenever he was drinking more, and he's an incredible shot. Um, now, as far as you know, picking anybody else out, I, I, I couldn't have done it. You know, I, I've been around him. We've, we've shot guns. We've gone hunting before. So no one else, just Clay, right? Yes. Okay. Um, but he had been drinking. He missed the trauma plate. He missed the trauma plate. Which he hit your heart. Didn't actually hit my heart. It was about an inch away from my heart. Okay. Is that not close enough? It, it, it was close, but at the same time, it, it gives me a newfound respect for law enforcement for going through the stuff that they go through every day. Okay. Then I have to tell you what law enforcement is saying about this. They're saying that you're really lucky to be alive. Yeah that you could have died from the blunt force trauma. Yes. That Clay, your best friend, could yeah. have missed and hit anywhere, yes. including your head. Yeah. You could be dead. Yep. Do you regret what you did? I honestly don't because uh, it kind of made me, you know, open my eyes on, on law enforcement. Like when I went to the academy, I was gung-ho and ready to go. And, um, you know, it, it gave me a newfound respect for law enforcement for all the stuff that they, that they go through and all the stuff that could happen. Um, law enforcement is saying that this act showed lack of judgment, that they don't want an officer who shows such poor judgment in doing something like this and posting it. So now do you regret, do you regret it? As far as judgment on, on my aspect, it wasn't, you know, trying to make myself look like a, um, 
incompetent person. Um, I was going to use a different term, but I, yeah, this is going to go on yeah. on the air. Um, so what were you trying I, to look like? When I posted the video on the internet, um, I, had, I had shown the video to a couple of my friends of mine, and, and they frequent different different websites, and I said that you can go to this site and uh, post it, and they'll give you a certain percentage. I was like, well, that'd be nice, because then I could pay for my medical bills, because... How much are your medical bills? I, I, don't, I don't know. My, my dad has those, and um, apparently I, uh, with the EMS trip all the way down to Bracken Ridge from Cedar Park, it, uh, it kind of, you know... T tallies up a little bit. Okay, it's in the thousands. Um, I think it's seven thousand, eight thousand. Because you went to the ER. Yeah, went to okay. the ER in both locations. Okay, you're in the thousands, so you're just yeah. trying to help pay off the medical bills. That was my only goal. So. Okay. And it, it wasn't to you know make law enforcement look ridiculous or whatnot. It was it was, it was just to pay back my medical bills because I I don't make a lot of money right now and okay. and so yeah. But you know a lot of people can't believe that you did this because. You know, you look kind of silly having someone shoot you. Why would you have anybody shoot you? Like I said, I wanted to know what it felt like to, to, to know how I would react to it and uh, if I would have reacted any different, if I would have fallen down, if I, I mean, um, I would have, I don't know. Um, and now that you're not drinking in hindsight, I mean, do you feel like an idiot? I mean, you could have, he could have shot you and you could be dead. I, I could be dead, but there was a reason that I stayed alive and, and, I, and I'm thankful for that. Um, whether that be if I do get on with, with some certain law enforcement, I don't know. Whether that be if I do something else in my life, there is a purpose that I stayed alive. Okay. And is so there I'm anything else you want people watching to know? Because, you know, they're all thinking, why would you have someone shoot you? Why would you have someone shoot you? Um, it does hurt. Um, I do not recommend anybody doing it. Um, are you afraid other people are going to try to copy you? I hope they don't. I hope they don't because they might not be, they probably won't be as lucky as I was. Um, and the vest I used, it was, it was an older vest. Um, it had expired. Um, but we did do, um, I would say, extensive testing through the backside of the vest and, and making sure that it wouldn't go through, you know. Um, you know that vest is done? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, that, that vest is tarnished. Yeah. yeah. Um, Please don't use it again. No, that, it's actually still with Travis County right now.